Hey everybody and welcome back to Curiosity Plus. Today we're watching Abbott Elementary episode 6. The episode is titled Gifted Program. Um, I just finished watching the last episode, so I'm just going to hop straight into this one. So let's get to watching. Okay, so if the store has 10 potatoes, right, and you take away two of them, how many potatoes would the store have left? Eight. I don't like potatoes. Same. Let's not focus on that part of it. You have eight potatoes. Marie, we know that you know some asking Sydney, what if we say they are sweet potatoes? I really don't like sweet potatoes. You Sydney. really gotta work with me, Sydney. Janine, what did I say about taking my potatoes from the lunchroom? Good morning, y'all. Morning. Please allow me to introduce our newest student, Malcolm. He just moved to the area. He went to that smart private school, Elway Academy. Make way! Smart kid coming through. Don't look at him with your regular IQ. <laughs> you know what? We should have a gifted program here. I mean, I need something for the kids in my class to do other than grade papers, and <laughs> Anyway, the problem is there's no one to teach the gifted program. Hey, Jer. Hey, don't miss me too much while I'm gone. You wish. <laughs> Girl, that man likes you. Ask him out. No. Just call up the truck for you. <laughs> so, basically all we need to make the gifted program work is someone enthusiastic who has a lot of free time. And I think I know somebody. Yeah. And that's how it go. Just say no to Monsanto. Hey, and that's just the hook. <laughs> Why are you breathing so hard? I'm excited. Well, it's weird. You should get that checked out. <laughs> Jacob is going to teach the gifted program during his free periods. So, uh, what's your deal, Gary? You got dreams or? I own an operator vending machine business. I'm living it. <laughs> so, remember how you brought me that iced tea? I'm thinking, what if I let you buy me dinner to go with it? This, this is going to be amazing. I'm going to take you out for a night in the town. You'll never forget. I'm thinking you, me, Dave, and Busters. I think I'm really busy these days. Maybe we just scratch this entire date idea. A guy suggests a dump for a first date. Eventually, you're going to have to dump him. My ex suggested a strip club. The chicken has an ovary and an oviduct, and as the female reaches maturity, these ova develop a few at a time into yolks, and when they hatch, what do we get? It's happening! They're hatching! Oh, look at that. They're seeing that chickens don't just come from crown fried chicken. I'm Miss Keys, I'm smart. Can I go to the chicken school? Yeah! Okay, guys, so, I know we're all on board with the gifted program. <sighs> there you go, sounding like an old locomotive. Honey. You've got to walk at a normal pace. You just need to make sure all the kids who aren't in the program are still on track to be successful, you know? Go to college, do great things. You don't have to go to college to be successful. No, oh my God, no. I feel like a blend of Robin Williams in Dead Poets Society and, well, Robin Williams in Patch Adams. Didn't all those kids in Patch Adams die of cancer? Well, the real cancer is ignorance. What? <laughs> this cancer. Look, if the program is making the kids feel bad, I don't think it's worth it. Starting it? You don't think I would have tried that geek squad? Hey, Ava. And Malcolm? Shouldn't you be in class? That's what I keep saying. Oh, you're so cute together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, lunch, madams. We have a burrito with light to medium sour cream. Thank you very much. A capicola sandwich. My favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and nacho chips because they're my chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bar right there. See that, baby? I'm the bar. Barbara. Thank you. I know you're trying to help, but I'm, I'm not you. I'm a divorced, none-your-business-year-old woman. I, I, maybe this is it for me. Hey, Gary, the vending machine guy. Oh. Oh, my God, I love that he stocks got shoes. Aren't you, like, 25 and three-quarters? <laughs> yes. I said, Janine. Okay, skip this part. What do you want? Some chicken eggs that'll hatch for my class. I want to teach them about their reproductive systems. Give me a week. Team. One of the eggs is breaking. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The eggs are hatching. Okay, everybody, come on. Come on, gather around. Everyone gather around. Ew. And it's scaly. Yes, uh, it's scaly. It's scaly. It's a snake. Oh, my God. Fly <laughs> <laughs> free, little birdie. It's my job. By the way, this is actually an endangered species. Can I ask where you got these? Um, 
It was a pop-up shop on 52nd Street. Not there anymore. Gone. Yeah, I heard about the snake. So what happened was I got a guy named Chicken for Snake Eggs and a guy named Snake for Chicken Eggs. I called Chicken for Snakes. Why should I call Snake for Chickens? I think we should get rid of the gifted program. See, when I was a kid, I didn't get into the gifted program. Like, not even close. Made me feel like school was only for kids who were good at taking tests, which I was not. So I checked out. The point is, when you give some kids chicken, other kids are gonna get snakes. And if you get snakes for long enough, that's what you think you deserve. Hey, you. You calling about the timeshare? I was gonna use it in June. Yeah, no, 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 it's something else, but that's fine, I prefer July anyway. So, you know, after we got divorced and you started, you know, seeing Nina or whatever, weren't you, like, just so afraid it was just gonna wind up like we did? Of course I was. It's hard to get near a stove once you've been burned. What? You thinking about cooking? I'm thinking about trying out a new recipe. You deserve a chance at something better. Jeez, you got soft. Uh huh. I hate you. Hate you more. See you, Joe. Well, well, well. If it isn't the one who ran away. Yeah, that wasn't my best moment. Listen, I get it. You're a beautiful woman. Philly 11. <laughs> Well, I would still like to go out for dinner, if you're interested. Oh, hell yeah. How about this? Me, you, Skinichios. Oh, yeah, that's where my ex proposed that we, you know, get a divorce. So, you know, <sighs> not there, but we'll, we'll figure out a place. You so smart. My little son's Oprah going look crazy in the botanies. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. Anyway, my friend Crystal is always bragging about how her kids are so smart. Obviously, I have the smartest kids. Maybe you can make a video memorizing the periodic table or something. Send that to Crystal. What do you do here? I'm the principal. But you don't do anything. We shutting this down. He getting too smart. <laughs> Actually, we were all just talking about the gifted program, and we have a solution. What if every kid got to do something special every few weeks? This way, no kid feels left out. We consider all the intelligences they could have. We get everyone excited about learning. Works for me. I like Principal Coleman. She's like a big kid. She's silly and she doesn't have a job. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that was episode six. Uh, this episode was pretty good, just like the other episodes. And this episode touched on the gifted program, which I was never in one, but then again, I don't think any of the schools I went to had a gifted program. So yeah, I think. Mm. Anyways, I really like this episode. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.